Hello gamers! Welcome back to another Switcher 01 video. And today, we are back at x -Plane. Now today, we're on the island of Crete, which is a Greek island in the Mediterranean Sea or whatever it's called. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of trying out other places than Area 51. Even though Area 51 will always stay in my heart. And we will raid it tomorrow with an actual UFO, so stay up for that. So yeah, the island is quite nice. We have several airports. The main airport is Iraklion. This is the airport that we're going to use today. Now today's video is about a very, very special aircraft, and that is the Boeing Sugar. Yes, my friends, this is the Boeing Sugar plane. And no, it's not sweet. Okay, whatever. So this plane is an electric plane, or at least a hybrid plane. So it doesn't use fuel as far as I know, and it's really just a concept. It's probably not that practical, and there hasn't been a prototype that was able to fly yet, but we will probably see this in the air as time passes and technology develops. So yeah, again, this is basically a 737 with a weird, weird wing. This plane has a way bigger wingspan, but this wing is more narrow. So basically, it's kind of like a glider plane. Yeah, that wing shape is called Boeing Triss Braced Wing. This is what they call it. The back of the aircraft, the elevator surfaces have moved up here on top of the horizontal stabilizers, which uh, definitely looks kind of weird. Other than that, it is a 737-800. As you can see, it has the 737-800 cockpit. You know, look at that. We have another 737 just taking off. But yeah, this wing is so big that it will be foldable. And by the way, Boeing is going to run out of names quite soon. We have the 717, 727, 737, 457, 6, 7, 7, 7, 87. The only name that's left is basically 797 or sugar. All right, let's just see how this plane flies. Something that I forgot to mention was that they actually made those engines smaller. Probably they are less powerful, but more efficient, which is necessary for electric. Yeah, let's just casually take off and see if this plane can deal with this short runway, which is only for GA aircraft, by the way. This is definitely not a GA aircraft because even though it seems kind of small, it's still a 737 with a weird wing. <laughs> and as you can see, we have successfully taken off. So something that is immediately going to be noticeable is the wing flex this thing is going to have. This thing is going to flex. I'm pretty sure it will turn into a bird at some point, especially in a storm. We're going to try that out later. As you can see, at the slightest nose dives action. Oh god. Oh wow. Oh, oh, yeah, the slightest nose dive is enough to make this plane a bird, Jesus Christ. So one thing that I can say already is that this plane won't be flying in turbulence. I mean, you could try and, and maybe lose a wing, which is something that we are going to do now. So in X-Plane, there's an option to, to have parts of the airplane removed if they're stressed enough, which obviously will damage the wings if they are flexed too much. And that already was enough. I didn't even force a lot. That's kind of disappointing. Ouch. So yes, I can imagine that flying this plane in a storm is going to be very dangerous. And probably you're not even allowed to take off at a certain wind speed. And as we are at Swiss 01, we're going to try that out as well. Let's get some stormy weather in here. So yeah, right now we have 14 knots of wind, which is all right. A plane should definitely be able to not fall apart yet. Okay, so we are approaching runway, whatever the runway that is with this plane. Uh oh, let's not fall apart. <laughs> we have some turbulence. Let's see if this is going to be a problem for us. So yes, this plane is kind of unstable in a storm, as I can tell, especially for the passengers. They're gonna be terrified. Please don't fall off. Let's go ahead and land. We're kind of slow. Yeah, this plane does have a lower V speed. We will be fine though. That was very hard as well. Let's go ahead and stop this aircraft. Okay, after a very successful landing that was totally butter, we have stopped. So yeah, this plane does seem to work, even though it shakes a lot on the ground, which is probably because of that wing picking all the wind up. So let's see if it will still operate on small runway. That's actually kind of interesting. So yes, as always, let's go to TFFJ, which is Saint Bartholomew. Yes, this is how it's pronounced. Finally, I got it right. Let's see how this plane performs on the small runway. I mean, we should be fine, I guess, but you know. So yes, the 737, the normal one, can operate here. All right.
right, let's uh, take off. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so as you might be able to tell, this was so close to touching the actual sand of that beach. Look at that. We used literally the last inch of the runway. Or did we touch the grass? Hmm. Oh, that was very close. But we did not overrun in theory. But I mean, like, no one's going to operate a 737 here anyway, so it doesn't quite matter. But yeah, it does seem to need a longer runway. Oh, oh. That was weird. But there's actually no downside to having this electrical aircraft design. At first, I thought that this wing might not allow us to fly at an airspeed that we are used to right now. But I have read that it is able to fly up to Mach 0.8 which is a normal airspeed for a jet aircraft. So yeah, let's land. We have a very unstable approach. This plane gets unstable very quickly. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, 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 go around, go, go, go around. Oh, this thing has turned into Jesus. Wow, this is a very special plane to say the least. Oh, rip landing gear. <laughs> we are basically a bird now, Jesus Christ. Wow, yeah, this is more than just disturbing. Oh, wow, Sully would not be proud. So yeah, in conclusion, it's basically an electric 737 with weird wings, and that's it. And it's kind of interesting to see this high-wing 737. My taxi signs are still broken. Probably it's my airport environment HD plug-in thing. Can you please tell me how to fix this? So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.